welcome to Game the Game. I'm your host, Becca Scott, and today we have a very special episode. We are playing Cthulhu Wars and summoning the great old ones. Let me introduce my guests. Representing the king in yellow, it's the one, the only, Joseph Limbo! Haster. Ooh. <laughs> right next to me, Mark Mir, the one, the only, the greatest of all the Cthulhu's, Great Cthulhu. He is the best known. He has the best PR. Aunt Margaret Dost, first of her name, ruler of the Black Goat faction. Welcome. Good to be here. Margaret, might I say that is an epic cloak you have there. Thank you. It is a terrible idea for games where you have to reach across the table though, so. But the figurine was safe. Yeah. I was a little worried yeah. about the shop there. Shop, shop. Mm -hmm. Shop, No, Becca. Me? Uh, yes, because I am playing Great Cthulhu and this is Cthulhu Wars, I you assume- You don't automatically I win. I don't just win, no? Was that your question? I thought that's what was gonna happen. That, that's why I agreed to play. But. All right, let's, let's just play then. There's a game involved. There's a board here. There's tokens. There's monsters. There's acolytes. There's many of these things, and you can find them all in our How to Play video, a link to which is in the description below. Well, now that we all know how to play, because we've all watched the How to Play video, oh. let's jump right in. Whoever is playing Great Cthulhu, should we have a Great Cthulhu in our game, uh, gets to go first. All right, oh, well, at least I get that. Okay. Yes, everyone, please reset your power to eight. Eight, I'm on eight, great. I think we're all set. Because we have six cultists each and one gate, and that will be how we determine our power in subsequent rounds, based on our cultists, our gates, and other factors should they come into play. Factors. Mm -hmm. Mark, would you like to go clockwise or counterclockwise? I think I'll go clockwise. I love a good clock. To begin, to begin. Oh, uh, the world is not yet seeped in the insanity that the great old ones bring, so things are going clockwise mm -hmm. as they normally do. Love it, I love that you're staying canon. And I see that I am beginning in the sunken city of Rillier or Arlier, depending on your pronunciation. You know a lot about Cthulhu mythos. I do. I do know a lot about. As Cthulhu does Cthulhu. Sir Joseph of mm -hmm. of the the brown Ooh. cloak. Well, yes, uh, I actually play in a Call of Cthulhu LARP over in the UK on an annual basis. Uh, it's a private one that some friends of mine run, and they they do a very good job. So yes, this is how I've come to uh, to know about Cthulhu, and of course, the massive pop culture integration of Cthulhu and uh, various other great old ones. Absolutely, and yeah. Joseph, you run many Call of Cthulhu RPG games, I've been told. It is true, I've, I've played Call of Cthulhu since the 80s. I was not born. <laughs> uh, please, pepper in lore all the time. I love it, I love it very much right. when you guys do that. So as mentioned, I'm starting in the sunken city of Rillier, which is in the South Pacific, so I currently control the South Pacific and I have an active gate there. Is there any uh, crossover with the South Pacific musical? Oh yeah, uh, Stupot uh, from South Pacific was a cultist, uh -huh. if you're not aware. Yeah, I thought yeah. so. He was, mm. he was. Okay. And uh, Bloody Mary, uh, also a cultist. Knew it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I am going to branch out, I think, uh, and move into a few areas on my first turn. I'm going to send out my cultists to various points in the world. Uh, I'm going to send one guy into the North Pacific, easy enough to reach from the South Pacific. Mm -hmm. I believe I can send one guy through here going across the edge of the board, us being on a round planet and all, to huh? the Indian Ocean. Indeed we are. Which has a nice tentacle motif going on here, so it's, it's, like, it's like it's our place already. And then I will send a third into the uh, South Atlantic, I, I see what you're doing with the controlling of the sea areas that's, and whatnot. Yeah, that's kind of Cthulhu's MO. Fair enough. Yeah, we see what you're doing mm -hmm. <laughs> with the C's. Okay, uh, and so then that, that will cost you three power. That's three power. That takes me down to five. Excellent. And I believe that's uh, is three the maximum amount of power I can spend in moving. No, you could spend more if you have more to move. Uh, now we're in the action phase right yeah. now. You can do one action per turn, but moving is special. You can move multiple cultists from multiple locations to multiple locations at a cost of one power per movement, but they can only move one adjacent space. Okay, uh, I think that's going to be good for me. 
okay. right now. So yes, I will go down to five power and I pass things clockwise <gasps> to you. Dua! Indeed, yes. Okay. Well, well, well. I'm just gonna start start building up a little bit here. I'm gonna go to Arabia. And I'm gonna go to North A. No. No. North A. North A. Nah. North A. Nah. I'm gonna go down one power for that one movement, and we're just gonna party. So I am going to Let's see. Definitely gonna move this one, and then. Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna also go to the North Atlantic, and I think I'm also going to go to. I'm gonna come party out in that direction. Ooh, wow. So, so that is. Already there's figures in the spaces of other figures. We'll move. There, yo. Go figure. Go. <laughs> I'll now, stop doing there's it. There's table I'll talk. Stop. You can propose a truce if you've got something I don't know about. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. But what I do have is my first spell book. Ooh. Uh, so I have cultists in four different, uh, well, I have units in four different areas. Uh, that means I get my first spell book and I have chosen uh, Frenzy, meaning your cultists now have one combat. So you don't really <laughs> need to worry about a truce because you outrank that other cultist in terms of I combat. did give my cultist a knife, mm -hmm. like, and just sent them out the door. Yeah. Don't bring a cultist to a knife fight, that's what people say, I unless yeah. no, that cultist has a knife. In yeah. which case, they could probably help. That's true, that's true. That's my turn. I'm just gonna go to Scandinavia because uh, I love Nordic things with my acolyte, and that's it. I've moved to Scandinavia. How is, my it, turn. There? How is it there? It's nice, it's cold. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I hear there's socialism everywhere. Uh, there will be, because that's what Haster is all about. Mm. Well, I think Haster uh, controls some of Canada then, or at least a chunk of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, Mark, Great Cthulhu. What will you do now? Oh, well, given that, you know, the whole thing about summoning Cthulhu is going on, I want to open a gate, I believe. I will open a gate in the North Pacific, I believe. Yes, the North Pacific. Excellent. That will cost three power, yes? Sure will. Now, would I also uh, be able to summon a monster in this turn? No, no, that's a whole separate action. Very well, so I will go down to two power and I will summon, or I will make this gate appear in the North Pacific. Yep. It's and, been created. And then as a free move, my cultist will move to control that gate. Excellent. All right, I've got some decisions to make because there is an armed cultist in my space. And I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. That is a problem for me. So you know what? We're about to, uh, Build a hunting horror. Yeah, this is probably going about how I should have thought it would. It spawns where my gate is, and that's gonna cost me one, two, three. Oh, don't forget, my units can fly. Oh, they can, can't they? Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, I should mention that the Crawling Chaos, the blue faction, has the unique ability of flight. Always. Uh, this says all of my units can fly, even cultists, and when moved, they can travel two areas. They can even fly over areas containing enemy units. Well, wait, so even your cultists can fly? Even my cultists can fly? Even though all these other guys have wings or they're flying polyps, they've got, the, the cultists just have... The cultists have been blessed. They worship the flying creatures, therefore they were given the ability to fly. And granted air miles. Yes. Okay. Air miles. Very well. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Can my guys fly? Do they have wings? These mm, big ones? No. Nope. 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 Even those even? are for show. It's like a f flamingo. Well, I penguin. Mean, <laughs> in terms of physics, like this star spawn has a lot of bulk. I doubt these wings would mm -hmm. get it off the ground. All right, you can like travel yeah. underwater and pop up in different places mm -hmm. like that. That's he doesn't have awesome. hollow bones. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Um, so me, what I'm gonna do is not start a fight just yet. Let's all just keep partying in nice, peaceful Arabia. And uh, I think I'm gonna instead build a gate here in East Africa. Solid move. It'll uh, cost you three. Yup. Um, I am gonna go ahead and spend, I have now a unit uh, in an area lacking a gate. Um, and I'm gonna spend four power, 
one, two, three, four, I'm down to three, to bring into play the king in yellow, the first great old one. But you know, it, king in yellow is a cheap great old one to bring in, but I'm happy to have him. Hmm. We should mention you are the only player who has two great old ones. I have two great old ones, yeah. Right, because you've got Hastur, the unnameable, I've just named him, sorry. Right. Uh, but you, <laughs> you also have the king in yellow who's sort of an avatar of Hastur. That's right, the king okay. in yellow wears no mask. When he puts on his skin suit. Yes. Hmm. I mean, theoretically, you should, you've got Narlathotep, the crawling chaos, so you should probably have like a thousand, a thousand uh, great old ones. Yeah, what's one, the deal? One for each of his masks. Don't you have an ability called like a thousand masks? You don't even. Maybe it's later. It's a thousand forms. Okay. Okay. But not yet. We're not, not yet. ready. Okay. So baby steps. That's my turn. Okay. Yeah. Over to me then. It is. Okay. I don't have enough power to summon another gate. Aww. But I think I do have enough power to perhaps uh, summon a Shoggoth. I have just enough power to summon a Shoggoth. Two points. That'll take me down to zero. And I'm going to protect my gate. I think protecting Arlier, or Arlier, or Relier is probably the best move with a shot off. And that is in the South Pacific. I'm down to zero power, so over to you. And I did forget to bring a spell book into play. Tell us more about your spell book. Well, uh, when I awaken the King in Yellow, that is one of the prerequisites for uh, bringing one of my spell books into play. I'm gonna bring into play Passion, Ongoing. Uh, when one or more of your cultists is eliminated by an enemy, killed, captured, etc., gain one power. So every time I lose a, an acolyte, I gain one power. Dang, okay. good to know. Yeah. So it's kind of a compliment if I take your acolyte. No. Okay. We should mention for people who cheated and did not watch the How to Play link that our general goal, generally speaking, if we get 30 Doom and earn all six of our spell books, we got a good chance of winning. Yeah. To put it uh, in a very, very dumbed down terms. Okay. Yeah, it's more complicated than that. It's a little more complicated than that. That's basically it. All right. Uh, I should mention I'm one of those people who didn't watch the How to Play video, so I'm. <laughs> <laughs> you can ask questions. Okay, I will. I That's will. That's allowed. I will. So Joseph loves when people kill his acolytes, <clears throat> and I never said that. That's not. <laughs> and <laughs> I... your king in yellow has zero fight in him, so I'm going to move to North Asia. That's my move. Well. Uh, it seems like everybody is arming themselves at least a little bit, so I should probably do the same. Um, besides the knives for cultists, uh, I am going to summon uh, one of these little uh, fungi here. Fungi from young guy? The Migo. Yeah. Migo. Those, the, Migo you, here. <laughs> they're adorable. Um, <laughs> All right, oh, how much did that amigo. cost? That cost yeah, tomato. everything. They oh. cost me everything. It's, All right. It, that's, my, that's the end of my turn. Super mm -hmm. solid turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's my turn again. Wow, mm -hmm. that was so fast. Um, I, let's see, how much power do y'all have? Yeah, you have none, you're doing that. I'm gonna bring a gate into play. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give Mark three doom. This is my action, this is my whole action. It doesn't cost me any power, but I'm gonna give you three doom, Mark. What are you doing? Uh, so Mark, I'm giving you three doom, which are basically victory points, right. because I, to get one of my spell books, I can, as an action, select another player to gain three doom points, and I select Mark. Wow, yeah. Mark, he's really betting you're not gonna win this on your own. <laughs> I, I thought he was just a big fan of, of Great Cthulhu. Or I'm trying to form an alliance with Mark, because he's sitting next to me. Mm -hmm. We can do something about this. I mean, I could try to form an alliance with someone near me, but I feel like, you know, uh, if you just get my back, if they come after me and leave their stuff on a, you know, undefended, then that's all. I just, you know, it's up to you. There's no actual alliance making in this game, but that's what I'm saying. Anyway, Great Cthulhu will remember your munificence. All right, so Great Cthulhu is down to zero power. Black Goat's down to zero power. You were able to take a whole action and not spend any power. Is that right, Mr. Yellow Sign? That is correct. I'm also going to bring into play another spell book because that, that's basically giving him doom points allows me to bring into play a spell book. And that is going to be The Screaming Dead. Uh-oh. Uh, action cost one. So this is, if I want to use this, it, it's an action and it costs me one power. Uh, move the king in yellow to an adjacent area. Any undead 
in the same area can move with him for free. You may then take a second, different action. You may not take he who is not to be named as your second action. Uh, and the reason is because he who is not to be named gives you another action, and if you could do that, you could just do that forever and ever and ever. So you're not, I'm not allowed to do that, but I can do any other action. Fair. So, uh, so here's what I'm thinking. I, I gotta get a gate on the board, and the only person who has power left is Joseph, and you have that yellow king, and the yellow king is a great old one, so you can come capture my cultist with that yellow signed king guy who wears dirty yellow. And so even though it's not very safe because there is an acolyte with a combat value in Arabia, I'm gonna build in Arabia because you're gonna have to waste two turns worth of movement to get there. I feel like uh, it's tough, tough times for uh, for just, just a little crawling chaos up in here. And now I am out and it's back to Joseph. Right, because Margaret is out. Everyone's out but me. Mm -hmm. So uh, your fears are unfounded. Although I could tramps in there with the king in yellow and eat your delicious cultist who is obviously delicious. Is that but, a power you have? Oh, you mean get over there? No, I could move over there in two turns and then spend, like I have three power left, so I could get over there and eat your cultist if I wanted to. But that would leave my king in yellow hanging out in the wind and I, I'm not gonna do that. I'm I'm with the rest of you. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to build a home here on Earth. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't want to get in any fights. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to build a gate to bring more of my people into the fold. All right. Uh, yep. Totally peaceful. Yeah. yeah. Totally peaceful. Yeah. yeah. All right. That knocks you down to zero power, which means it's time for the gather power phase. Ooh. So, because it's our first round, let's do it nice and slow. Great Cthulhu. All right, so I will uh, gather one power for every cultist I have on the board. That will be six. I will gather uh, two power per controlled gate. I have two of those, so that takes me up to ten. Uh, there's no abandoned gates, I don't believe. No. Uh, and but they would be one point for everybody. They would. If abandoned they, gate party! If there were such a thing, there is not such a thing. Uh, and I don't have any special abilities that gets me extra power currently. So that is my power. I'm back up to ten. Awesome. Uh, all right, I am exact same situation. Six acolytes and two gates puts me at 10 power. Uh, same for me. I, let's see, I've got six acolytes and two gates, so 10. Are you praying to uh, the old I was, I was, I was praying. Great old ones? Uh, silently to, uh, to Haster. Uh, so I'm pretty much in the same situation. I have six cultists and two gates, so I'm up to 10 as well. And the game will stay this even the whole time. <laughs> We're just gonna all turtle and, and just look at each other yeah. over our walls. Beautiful. Now we will determine a new first player. Now we all have 10. Uh, typically we determine who's the next first player by whoever has the most power, but uh, in a case of a tie, whoever last controlled first player chooses who gets it. Great Cthulhu, who would you like to be first player? I would like Great Cthulhu to be first player. What? Oh, what a surprise. All right, like. fair enough. <laughs> That's the opinion of Great Cthulhu. And would you like to change the direction of play or keep it clockwise? I'm currently enjoying the direction of play. I think we'll maintain its clockwise direction for right now. No. Super solid. Okay. All right, on to the doom phase. Doom phase. Ooh. Well, if we're in the doom phase, I receive a spell book. Indeed, you in do. The doom phase. Uh, doom phase. I'm going to use uh, dreams. Dreams being intrinsically linked to Cthulhu, uh, and uh, I also receive one elder sign. Excellent. I guess technically this happens at the end of the doom phase when special events and abilities are triggered. But whatever. oh, I'm sorry. I can wait. I got excited and okay. I pointed to the thing. I'm all excited. So do you want? Do we want Go to do? Go for it. Yeah. Okay. So I reach into this bag, which has various elder signs in it. I will take one of them, and this could be. Keep it secret. Keep I, it safe. I shall. Uh, now this is a random value. Uh, so between one and three doom points. Yes. Indeed. All right, and I will keep it safe for now. It does have the elder sign, so I'll just keep that elder sign up right here, and its numerical values on the back. I might look at that a bit later. Uh, and I get a spell book which is, and I've decided to go with dreams. This allows me to choose an area containing an enemy acolyte's cultists. Your enemy must eliminate one of his acolyte cultists from that area and replace it from one with one from my pool. It is yeah. an action that costs two. And it costs two, and I don't currently have any cultists in the pool yet, so I won't be using this quite yet. It is a deterrent from capturing your acolytes. Yes, it is. Okay, so on to the doom phase. Uh, one doom per controlled gate. So, looks like everybody is gonna get two doom. Except for Mark, already had four to start, oh, three to start with. Mm -hmm. 
thanks to Hastur, my good friend. Mm, indeed. I shouldn't mention his name, but I you never, can... never name drop Hastur. Never. What? You know, I was partying with Hastur last week, <laughs> and he got He's unnameable. Uh, did someone say Hastur? Oh. Uh -oh, this is why you should I never. Name drop Hastur? Oh, I'm back. Oh, oh never name him. Oh, no. <laughs> It's like a really more powerful Beetlejuice. You just have to say it once and he's, he shows up. Mm. That's super powerful. Yeah. <laughs> Is Beetlejuice in one of the expansions? <laughs> it's a way, they haven't done, uh, sent it out yet, but it's coming, it's on its way. Mm -hmm. yeah. I thought so. All right, now there's a little thing I like to call exactly what it's called, the Ritual of Annihilation. Ah. Mm. We go around in player order, yeah. so starting with Mark once again, and you can decide whether or not you would like to perform a Ritual of Annihilation. Now we have our Ritual of Annihilation track, which means each time someone performs one, it becomes more expensive for everyone else and for you to do it again. Uh, everybody can do it once per doom phase. And what this means is you pay the value listed on the Ritual of Annihilation track, which right now is five power from, all of us have 10 power right now, so that's a big chunk. And what happens is you get to count your, your uh, plus one doom per controlled gate points again. You also get to take one Elder Sign token from the bag if you have a great old one in play. And for each great old one you have in play. Oh, right. Which is important, for I might have two. It's true. Okay. Considering I have no great old one in play currently, my, my singular uh, great old one, Great Cthulhu, uh, I think I will pass on that, because that would be five power. It's going to cost you five power. And I would get how many doom out of that? Two. Mm, I've got a bit of a lead in the doom track anyway, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to forego that. I have other things I would like to spend the power on. I too shall pass. Same. Okay. I am also passing. All right, even though you got that king wearing the yellows. Okay, this makes us move on to special events and abilities. We've already resolved Mark's spellbook situation. Anybody else have anything special that happens in the doom phase? Not yet. Ooh, so Not mysterious. Yet. So ominous. Ominous, that's the word. <laughs> Everything is ominous here. Yes. <laughs> Very good point. And yet we're so polite and friendly. And colorful. <laughs> Which is ominous. It's mm. true. All right, on to the action phase of round two. Great Cthulhu, what will you do? Well, I think the first thing to do would be to create a gate in the Indian Ocean. Ah. Oh, my. Uh, now, I cannot create a gate and summon a monster on the same round, right? No. Very well, so I will, I will merely create a gate. However, that does give me access to another spell book. You gotta pay for that. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, that, and that's three. That takes me down to seven. Great. Uh, so that will create another uh, situation in which I get another spell book because I control three gates in ocean or sea areas. Bravo. I think I will go with absorb, maybe. Tell us more. Absorb, uh, if a Shoggoth is present, I can eliminate one or more of my monsters or cultists in the battle. For each unit so removed, I will add three dice to the Shoggoth's combat for that battle. So I can essentially have my Shoggoth eat my own units and become much stronger. Or, this is the one I'm torn between, I might go with Devolve. After any player's action, you may replace any number of your Acolyte Cultists on the map with the same number of Deep Ones from your pool. So I got some Deep Ones over here, they actually have a better combat value. Mm. Flip an Elder Sign and Flip get an elder it going. Sign. And Let's with see. Dreams, you get, if you get like those Acolytes back into your pool, you can then turn our Acolytes into your Acolytes. Yes, exactly. So Don't I... tell them the combo! <laughs> yeah, no, that's a pretty killer combo. Yeah, I'm, you know something? I, am, I think I am going to go with Devolve to get uh, some of my deep ones on the board, potentially. So that will go right here. I here. see. So now I can turn people, my people, into deep ones. Cool, 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 Just cool, as cool. though they were from Innsmouth. Oh my goodness, it's my turn already. Mm. So much to see and do. And uh, one of the things that I'm particularly into is summoning baddies. So I think I would like uh, a flying polyp in my life. Polyp, polyp, a polyp. Bloop. Polyp. I shall summon a flying polyp for the cost of Two power, and um, it's gonna be in Arabia here. Yep, yep, called that one. Cool. Reminds but, me of that movie, Polyp of Arabia. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I am going to use this turn to get some movement going here. Gonna move one to North America, keep one in the Atlantic here, 
And I think that's good for now. So that is uh, two for me. Uh, I'm gonna do something, I believe it's my turn. Yes, I'm done. Okay, <laughs> yeah. oh, so tense. Um, I'm gonna do something uh, probably ill-advised and risky, but I'm, do gonna that. I'm doing it. I'm spending all of my power, every last bit of it, and Get I'm bringing into here. play Haster. I'm very worried about this. <sighs> I got Whoa. the king in yellow in play, which I have to have to summon Haster. I have um, a cultist and a gate, and yeah, I have all the requirements, and I'm spending all 10 of my power on the second turn and bringing Haster into play. It's ridiculous, but I'm gonna see what happens. Uh, as I do that, uh, I also get to bring another spell book into play, because when I awaken Haster, um, I bring a spell book into play. I also get an elder sign. Uh, for that. I um, don't get one at all. And uh, this, uh, this is the third eye ongoing. If Haster is in play, so I have to have Haster in play, the cost of desecration is reduced by one, and we'll get to desecration in a bit, but it's pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, uh, if the desecration succeeds, every time it succeeds, I receive one Elder Sign. I don't get to desecrate anything. Only the yellow guy gets to desecrate. Yeah, but you got you can fly. You can fly. It's overrated. It's not. It's the most wonderful thing in the world. Okay, Superman. All right, I've seen my elder sign, which I will place here secretly for the point or points it is worth. Indeed. Great Cthulhu. Mm. What say you? I say time for a gate in the South Atlantic, I think. Oh. That's what I say. And I uh, will create one like so. Well, create one, and then as a free move, this guy will go on it. Excellent. And now that takes me three power. Beautiful. Oh, geez. For a minute there, I was real worried about the giant great old one that got summoned right next to me, but then I realized I don't care about anything. I'm gonna create a gate for the cost of three. One, two, three. It's gonna go in north. Aja. Oh, oh control three gates. I do. I shall take a take a power. I have chosen as my spell book for controlling three gates. Seek and destroy. Pre-battle, I get to immediately move any or all hunting horrors from any area into the battle area. Just saying, nobody mess with me because that hunting horror gets to free fast travel right to your battle. I I feel like I've got eight points burning a hole in my pocket. Ugh. And what are you gonna spend now? I don't know. I, let's see. <gasps> oh, another, <laughs> another great old one. I'm not alone. Oh, jeez. <laughs> gonna hang out over here. And just, just, just kind of chilling in this general vicinity. Are um, you on the continent? Um, oh yeah. Mostly very big. Great. <laughs> Uh, the swishy tail. Just kind of going to teeter on the edge of the landmass there. Um, yeah, that's my old one, the goat. Um, so. How much did it cost all of your power? That, yeah, <laughs> just everything. I just want to say, welcome to the club. Ah. Oh. oh, zero power club, yeah. <laughs> no, the like, great old one club. The oh, that one too. Club. I mean, <laughs> it's a pretty cool club. It's worth it. Margaret, would you walk us through those instructions for how to awaken? Shagnagroth. I have awakened my old one. There are some steps to this one, though, um, which include I must have uh, a controlled gate and at least two cultists on the map. They can be in any areas. Check, so check. They're, they're all over the place. Got that. Um, pay eight power. Done that. Uh, number three, remove two cultists and then place Shagnagroth at your controlled gate. Okay, well, I haven't done that part yet, so I'm going to do that. And you know what? Just remember this. I never Aww. done nothing. Never did. Bye from Arabia. Nothing. Nice for you. They'll be so back. Anyway, yeah, they'll be super be back. That's fine. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, I have an old one on the board and probably put myself in a weird position, but I'm going to see if this pays off. Uh, but at the moment, though, what I would like to do is get a spell book uh, because I have awoken the goat. The spell book I've chosen is uh, The Thousand Young. Um, so if my old one is in play, uh, ghouls, fungi, and dark young each cost one power less to summon. What? That's awesome. Nice. That's solid. It's a good one. Yeah, I am going to enjoy this. I also have zero power because summoning a great old one, as we can attest, is a lot of work. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of heavy lifting. Whew. 
Mm. I mean, I've seen a lot of old ones, but just want to say these two are great old ones. <laughs> Aww. Thanks, Mark. Yeah. Uh, over to me then. Well, that means your turn is over. Uh, so that means I can, I believe as a free action, replace these here cultists with deep ones because they're being devolved. Their Innsmouth gene is being activated and they, they kind of turn into weird froggy fishmen. What's an Innsmouth gene? Well, let me tell you, Innsmouth, Massachusetts is a site, a town, where uh, people have interbred with the Deep Ones, and so they have a recessive gene, and uh, they can eventually turn into Deep Ones as they grow older. That's not what a recessive gene means in Hereditary. Well, you know, the, uh, gene. the author didn't know that much about science. <laughs> the, you can do that at the end of every player's turn? Uh, at, at the end of any player's action. So, that means I have some power available to me. I think I'm going to... Uh, bring in a star spawn oh, geez. of Cthulhu. Okay. And uh, we're just going to use that to beef up this guy here. That's he's, really beefy. He's just gonna hang out. Mm. It's more, more surf than turf, really. He is more mm. surf than turf. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll just have him here hanging out in the Indian Ocean. Cool. And that will cost me three power. <sighs> Solid. I'm gonna do a little moving. Oh my gosh, what's this going on? This polyp's going to West Africa. It's so nice here. And what? He's bringing a friend that can fly? A cultist and a polyp walk into a bar in West Africa. And that will cost me two. Great Cthulhu is going to use his remaining power uh, just to protect those gates that he's got summoned or opened around the world and summon a Shoggoth to protect the South Atlantic Gate and that will take care of the rest of my power. You got all these buddies paired up. Mm -hmm. Speaking of buddy pairs, look, it's nothing personal. I just have to capture an enemy cultist once to get a one little spell book, and then I'll clear on out of there. Oh, of course. It's just yes. you were hanging out nearby. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So I am going to pay one power to use my monster and capture this cultist here in okay. West Africa. And uh, I am the only one with remaining power, so I, well, I'll use, uh, in that same turn, my free action to move my cultist onto West Africa, and uh, that gate there, and then uh, with two more power, I shall summon a flying polyp. And the flying polyp is gonna be in North Asia. I'm at zero power, I apologize for taking your cultist. Uh -huh. I hope, I, I'll give, I'll, I'll Leave it abandoned for you to step back in. I just had to take a call. Yeah, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. As long as, unless you're gonna, unless you, you know, unless you don't want a truce, but, okay. I'm gonna take my invisibility for my polyps so they can just disappear from battle whenever they feel like it. And uh, now it is time for the gather power phase. Mark? Okay, so I will gain one power for every cultist on the board, that's four. I will gain two per controlled gate, which would be, I'd get eight power total from that, so 12 power total for me. Dope, 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 dope. This won't last for long, because I pissed some people off by having to take <laughs> six power for my cultists, and then I have four gates. So that's uh, eight more power. S seven plus seven is 14! And that's it, no great old one for me. All right, well, let's see. I sort of shot myself in the foot this round, but, um, you know, learning, and if, uh, if nothing else, the goat is resilient. Um, let's see, I have three cultists in, uh, in play right now, and I have one gate, so I have five at the moment. But you actually, depending on what Joseph has, you could get more, because there is a minimum power rule. Joseph? Yes. Well, how much do you have? You're gonna 14. have the most power. So the minimum would be seven. Because I'm not going to get as much as you. Show us what you got. I certainly don't. I have like six for my six cultists, and then I have two gates. I'm I'm back up to ten again. Perfect. So you'll get uh, seven power. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. All right, friends. Now it is time to determine the first player, and I shall take it. Who would like to go second? I'm gonna make it go clockwise because I feel bad that I took uh -huh. your cultists. Okay. So. Oh. So. Oh. I'm sorry. Pardon me. I will take one. 
one right now? Yes, plus one power per cultist, including this one that I took from you. I will take mm -hmm. one power, and now it's back into your pool. So I actually have 15, so you get one more, okay. because it's half rounded up. So eight. And we'll go clockwise. Of course. All right, uh, Doom. Doom! I shall take four for blue, please. Margaret? Um. I think just one, right? Then I get two. You get two. And then Mark gets... Four. Four, four. yeah. Um. Wow. Now it is time for the Ritual of Annihilation. Now, I don't have my great old one out, so I'm not gonna get the Elder Sign, but I feel like today's the day I wanna perform a ritual because I don't know when I'm gonna have this many gates again. So I will take another four Doom and pay the five. So I'm now I'm down to 10 power. If you would move me, move that Ritual marker up to the six. And if you could move blue, one, two, three, four, to tins. Blink. Margaret, would you like to perform a ritual of annihilation? I would not. Cool. Mm. Joseph? How much is it? Six? Six. Six. It's a little rich for my blood right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on that. Okay. Mark? I shall not. All right. Now, any special abilities that trigger at this time? Any doom phase stuff that popped up? Cool. Now it's time for a new round. I'll go first. I'm going to fly. I'm gonna fly <laughs> my cultist out of your area, and we're gonna go Antarctica. We love it here. So that costs two to move those two creatures. All right. Um, well, I am going to let's get. Now I believe a cultist can be recruited anywhere where you have a unit. It doesn't have to have a gate there. Cultists are special. Uh, so they can pop up, pop up anywhere? Anywhere you have a unit. I'm gonna put one over here. So I will just recruit yeah. the one. And one power. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Joseph? I'm gonna hang out for a bit up in here. I'm gonna spend one power, and I'm gonna bring into play one of my undeads. Whoa! Zombie, zombie, zombie. Mark? I believe I will spend ten power. Oh. To summon Great Cthulhu. To Arlier. I see why you didn't want to do the ritual right now. <laughs> or Rillier, if you prefer. I so, do. so yes, he shall uh, appear in Rillier, as is his wont. And there he is. Great Cthulhu in the house. You've done say. awakened a spell book. I have. I'm going to take Absorb, thank you. And that will be for my Awakened Cthulhu. That's, uh, as a reminder, that means that if a Shoggoth is present, I can eliminate one or more of my monsters or cultists in the battle, and for each unit so removed, you add three dice to the Shoggoth's combat for that battle. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh geez, oh geez, friends. I had a spell book that said control four gates, and I did, and I didn't, I didn't do the thing. Um, I will retroactively pop in a little spell book. Sure. Now, battle hasn't happened yet, but when it does, I would like to have all the effects on it, and I will s choose my madness spell book after all pain results have been assigned. Me, rather than the unit's owners, choose the area to which all pained units will go. So in a battle, uh, a four or five causes pain, a six causes a kill, one through three is nothing. I choose where you go to run away from that pain even when I didn't participate. Okay, cool, so that's, that's my spell book. And now for the turn, I shall build a gate. One, two, three, and a gate for me in Antarctica. At the Mountains of Madness. All right. Looks like things are very happening on one side of the globe. <laughs> uh, so happening. <laughs> just party party. Um, let's see, I would love to I'm gonna move this guy over here to this back to this gate. Sweet. And that is my turn for the moment. One power, please. Boop. I'm gonna spend a power and I'm gonna raise some more of uh, the undead army. Zombie. Um, are those just recreational zombies or are you gonna sick them on people? They're purely defensive. Mm, okay. Defensive zombies, that makes sense. Yeah, they're forming a perimeter. That's all they're doing. <laughs> we should mention, as you noticed last turn, it's real nice to be the last one left with power. Because then, if you choose to go, say, 
capture somebody's cultist, there's nothing they can do about it until next round. But there's no skipping a turn either. You gotta spend at least one action, unless you have some cool special ability. Okay, I think, uh, yeah, I'm just going to get some of my cultists back out onto the board. And uh, do, let's see, yeah, right here. In uh, the South Atlantic, he will appear there, so that is one power. All right. I'm looking around to the areas that aren't yet occupied, and there's not a lot. I think I'm re real scared of Joseph. Uh, all right. Um, Why? I'm just sitting there. I don't know. Maybe you're just sitting there. Maybe you're just sitting there. Okay. This little cultist flew two areas up to the Arctic Ocean, and... You're trying to capture my cultist. I see you there. I see you there. I was thinking, you know, I can just drop in with my hunting horrors, and nobody's gonna mess with me. But I'm, I'm scared. So I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna m build another baddie. One, two, three, and a hunting horror shall emerge in uh, Antarctica, North Asia. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for bearing with me there, friends. I think I'm gonna bring out two at once here. Um, I'm gonna bring out two different enemies at a total cost of three from two different gates. So I'm going to bring out this lovely dark young to just kind of hang out for a little bit over in that area. What and luscious there. tentacles. There we go, yeah, I gotcha. Okay. And that is one, two, three. Margaret, I like your gumption. I like the way you're summoning stuff, and it has inspired me to also summon, I know this is boring, but hey, I'm gonna bring another undead out. Come on, undead. change it up. It's your greatest hits. It's my deal, it's my change deal. Change it up. Okay, over to me. Yes, very well. I'll use, uh, let's see, my last remaining bit of power. Uh, we're just gonna bring a, bring a deep one over here, just to keep this guy company. So. That's cool. You got that deep one. And that takes me down to zero. Oh, oh geez. My other spell books to unlock involve just spending a bunch of power I don't have or awakening Nyarlo of Tip. Nailed it. So <laughs> I'm gonna do a flying polyp for my last remaining power and all of my medium sized monsters are on the board. Uh. Let's get a little back up in Arabia, shall we? And that is my whole round. Everyone else out? Somebody's super not out. Yeah, Joseph, what are you even time. doing over Spawning there? Zombies. Summoning zombies. Takes I, a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, will you have fun, continue to have fun with that as I'm going to give you several free rounds to do that on your own <laughs> entirely as I'm going to use my last three power to open a gate. And out of power. Joseph, just you. Do whatever feels right. Wow, it's just me, huh? It's all you, Hastur, if that is your name. Well, since I'm kind of can just do anything right now, I'll start off with a little bit of desecration, which I haven't even done yet. So I have six units in that space. The way desecration works, I have to have the king in yellow in, in the space, and uh, then I would roll a die, which is equal to or less if it is equal to or less than the number of units I have, then I succeed at desecrating. I have six units there, so I don't really need to roll a die. If you want, we can roll one, but roll it doesn't, doesn't matter what's on it. Oh, it's a four. I still desecrate. For your um, weird desecrating so rat party. Now I'm gonna put a desecration token on this space. And what desecration is, is it's kind of like a little mini gate. Um, uh, once it's on the board, um, it can't be taken away. It's just always there. Uh, some of my spell books I need to, to unlock, I need to desecrate specific areas, so I'm gonna probably be trying to do that now. The other thing is, as long as I have a unit on a space that is desecrated, any unit, doesn't have to be uh, an acolyte, could be a monster, then I get one power at the beginning, during the po gain power phase, so. That's pretty cool power. It's called feasting, that's my special ability. Um, yeah, so my, it's kinda like I can spread mini gates all over the place. We'll see how this works for me, cause uh, I'm not, honestly not gonna be aggressive to anyone, but I'm about to start whomping around the globe. But every so. time you do the feasting ability, I believe it's in the rule book that you have to go nom, 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 nom. Oh. oh, is it? I didn't know that rule. <laughs> yeah, All right. it's in there. Uh, okay then. Um, nom, 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 nom. You're not feasting yet. Uh, oh, oh, you're right. <laughs> I was practicing. But Good. just remember whatever you're eating, just like 
Don't actually swallow it. Just let it fall down your front. Just like a like cookie, a, cookie monster. Like a, okay. Yeah. Just let the pieces of the cultists fall out of my mouth. All right. <laughs> Great. Um, disgusting. Great. Uh, so also like um, because of uh, the third eye, every time I perform desecration, I get to draw an elder sign. So give me one of those sweet elder signs. That's ridiculously op. It, get out of here. It's kind of not. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you own a copy of this game, so I'll I'll default to you <laughs> in questions uh, of which factions are yeah, No counterpoint. I mean, no. <laughs> if, well, like if we if I get into combat, and like I'm every all my a lot of my units are kind of made out of tissue paper, so that's the trade off. But you know, we'll see what happens. That was one to desecrate. I'm gonna do screaming dead, which allows me to move uh, the king in yellow um, to a location. I can, if I want to, bring all of those zombies with me. Um, in fact, I will bring those zombies with me. Yeah. For I'm free! Bring them with me for free. And then I get another action, and uh, I'm going to uh, desecrate. Oh! How much does it cost to move your yellow king like that? It costs one. I already spent it. Cool. To perform that. And then I get another action, which I still have to pay for. So it doesn't really matter because I get all the actions anyway. But And I'm going to desecrate. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move up here. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to do this mm. instead. I'm going up mm. into, the, into the Antarctic. And uh, yeah, I'll. I'll uh... That's the Arctic, Lomar. You're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. It's the Arctic Ocean. Oh, I should also say because I desecrated a space with this unit, this this icon on it. Fiery seaweed. The fiery seaweed <laughs> icon. I get to uh, bring another spell book into play. I'm going to bring into play he who is not to be named. Uh, That's you. I know. So. Um, uh, which is, he was not to be named, action cost one, move Haster to any area containing a cultist of any faction. You may then take a second different action. You may not take the Screaming Dead as your second action, which is the other one that gives me an extra action. So, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, now we go back to my move of the Screaming Dead in progress, or we don't, I could just take a desecration action because there's no one, there's no one to stop me. But now I have to roll because I have, uh, I have four units there, so I need to roll a four or less to succeed at this desecration. And I did. So I desecrated this area here. Pick up your beer cans if you want to live in this neighborhood, you dumb college kids. <laughs> Are you desecrating um, the north? I am desecrating the north. Oh. Well, no, it's like farther north than Canada, but I'll get to Canada, don't sure. worry. Yeah, but the ozone hole is up there. Yeah, and the wildlings are up there. The wildlings? It's different property. Okay. okay. Um, mm. Although I will draw an elder sign for desecrating a thing. Okay. You might want to just leave this just bag. Just leave this over there. Leave yeah. this bag. Yeah, yeah. let's <laughs> keep it, oh, yeah. honestly. Want to just take the bag? Let's take the bag. Just take the bag. Just take it. Just take the bag. All right. Uh oh. We gotta kill Cthulhu. You're gonna get an elder sign every, every, uh, whenever you awaken any great old one. Oh, did you get your immortal? I didn't. I... Please take your elder sign for awakening. Woohoo! Your Cthulhu. Lovely. Yeah. yeah, it's still me. Let me guess, you're gonna summon a zombie, is that it? All right, I'm gonna move over into uh, North America over there with these four guys using Screaming Dead. Slide them over. Um, and, uh, yeah. Uh, this is known as Nakai? Yeah, it's the, yeah, the great, the vaultless, blue litten caverns of Nakai. Oh, hello. Hi, uh, hi. Hi, helpless cultist. How's it going? Um, I gotta admit, that's real tempting. So you moved for one, your yellow king has that special power where all the zombies move for free, so now you're still at four power after all these turns. Yeah, it takes one each time, so I was like, yeah. I know, I'm just uh, up. Nothing I'm us. doing costs very much. So I will also, uh, once again, desecrate. This is an important one. Yes! Two. So, uh, go ahead and drop that down there. I will, dr I will draw an elder sign. And I see a new symbol. It's a, the swirly rings of chaos. It is the swirly rings of chaos. So I will bring into play Zingaya. Uh, which is another another book, and that one is choose an area containing any of your undead and at least one enemy acolyte cultist. Oh. Your enemy eliminates one of his acolyte cultists from that area. Place an undead from your pool into that area. Oh, that's cool. That sounds like this guy, huh? Yeah. That's what's gonna happen, yeah. I, do I take him back or do you take him? You eliminated. Uh, you take, I'm eliminating him, so you take him and I'll just drop, a, drop an undead over there. But not on the gate. Mm -mm. Not on the gate. No, I have nothing on that gate. Because uh, only acolytes can 
can control gates. That is correct. Okay. What are you gonna do with your last two power? It's an excellent, excellent question. I'm going to summon a buy a key. Boop. Put him right there. Now it's time for the gather power phase! Oh. Oh. Beautiful. Okay, so All right. bring power. Uh, let's, I had taken the first player, so I'll go first. One power per cultist. I've all got all six. And two per gate. I've got one, two, three, four. So two, four, six, eight. I'm at 14 again. And then I didn't get anyone's cultist, but I get one more for that abandoned gate there. So I'm at 15. Party on. Are we going clockwise or counterclockwise? You you call the tune, right? Well, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, clockwise for now, and okay. then we'll determine a new first player if needed. So, Margaret. All right, so I get, uh, let's see, I have three cultists out, and I have two gates, so that is um, seven. And one more for that abandoned gate. Oh, correct. Yes, eight. Right. We all get one for the abandoned gate. We all get one. Mm. Power's just leaking out of it. Yes. Um, I have six cultists. Why I still do, I have no idea, but uh, <laughs> I do. And uh, I have two gates, so that's up to 10. And then I have two desecration tokens that have people on them, so I'm gonna use my feasting ability to get two more. And then finally, there's the abandoned gate, so I'm up to 13. Probably an unlucky number for Haster. Hmm. Very well. I have... Five cultists, yes. I have, uh, so that's five power. Four gates, which would take it up to 13. And then one for the abandoned gate, I believe I've, that takes me up to 14. There we go. Hey, what's your com combat on old Haster's, Haster's keep over there? Hold on, you mean Haster, the, the actual entity Haster? Mm -hmm. What's what's Haster's combat ability? Mm -hmm. I don't know. How much does it cost to buy a thing on the Apocalypse track? Well, that's a good question. All right, time uh, time to determine first player though. Who has fifty more than fifteen on your power situation? No one. Nope. Fourteen here. All right, that means that everybody should have at least eight. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, so I shall once again claim first player, and just to mix it up. Go the we'll go counterclockwise. Makes no difference to me. Yeah, because you get 10 turns at the end. <laughs> no, I'm still third. Mm. Mm. You dead center. Mm, I see. I see what you mean there. Time for a little doom, shall we? Four points for blue, if you would. Because them's the gates. Counterclockwise. So, Mark, you're next. Uh, so, one power, one doom for each gate, I one control? One doom per gate. I have four of those. I have two gates, so I am at only two. Uh, and I'm right behind you with two gates. <laughs> All right, now it's time for a little party called the Ritual of Annihilation. So tempted. Ugh, I'll pass. I got some power, and uh, I'd like to perform a Ritual of Annihilation at some point in my life. Yeah, really, you know, everyone, actually. everyone really. should. I'll perform a ritual of annihilation for six points, I believe. Six points of power. All okay. right. If you'd slide that ritual track up. Can you really Jeez. call yourself a great old one if you've never performed a ritual of annihilation? No. You're no, an okay. I don't think you can. Yeah. Great one. It's always the question. An okay one. Question. All right. So you were an okay old one. You were at six. No, you were at fourteen. I was at fourteen. No, I'm down to eight. All right. So you get four more points on the doom track. And one elder sign for every great old one on the board. Why? For every Ooh, single great old one? Dude. That you have. That yeah. I have. Okay, so I, I only get one. Because I only got one. Yeah, well, that's okay. Okay. How much is that ritual of annihilation at this time? It's seven now, right? Uh huh. Oh my god, I have 13, so it would put me down to six. Um, how much does it cost for you to summon Nair Lathotep? Ten. And you have 15? Uh huh. I'm guessing you're probably going to summon Nair Lathotep this turn. No! No, I, I really think you're going to. No! I'm pretty sure you're going to do it. No! <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. I'll uh, I'll summon the Ritual of Annihilation, or I'll cast the Ritual of Annihilation. I'll do whatever you do with that Ritual of Annihilation. Cool. Perform. Uh, I think I'll you'll perform, perform it. it. I'll perform, perform it. it. Perform ritual it. of Annihilation. So that's uh, seven. So I'm down to six. You know, Shakespeare was meant to be heard, and rituals were meant to be performed. So I only get two. I only get two points for that. Um, but I do get two Elder Signs, because I have two great old ones. Pretty cool. Pretty cool for you. I'm, I'm not unhappy with it. I feel we could slide that ritual one more. Uh, the other twice. seven. Because okay. Mark did it. 
and then Joseph did it. And now you have the turn, Margaret. Would you like to do a ritual? Perform. No, I would not like to perform. The Fair enough. So a uh, ritual costs uh, what? Because it's, it was six when seven. I did it, and then he was seven when he did it. So it's we should... still seven. Still seven, okay. There's two sevens in a row, two eights in a row, a nine and a ten, and then instant death. Okay. Meaning the game ends and we count up our current doom. Yeah. If no one has six spell books, no one wins, except humanity, because they lived. Otherwise, us monsters win. Right. Okay, well, the doom phase is now completed, and we shall move on to the next action phase. Oh, geez, this means I needed a plan. I didn't have a plan. Oh, I do have a plan. And it's called, you told me to do it. It did? I'm gonna just pay 10, and we're gonna bring out our old pal here, Nihil Orthotep. You must have a controlled gate, check. You may pay 10 power, or you probably should. Mm -hmm. Yep, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. It's gonna appear at the controlled gate. My combat is equal to the total number of spell books on the faction cards belonging to both me and my enemy. And uh, I got a real cool post-battle thing. Uh, if if Nair Lethetep is in a battle in which one or more enemy great old ones are pained or killed, I receive power equal to half the cost of awakening those great old ones. And for each enemy that uh, each enemy great old one pained or killed, you may choose to receive two elder signs instead of power. No big deal. It's fine. Everybody chill. Whatever. Gonna go, 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 whoop, whoop. Um, I like it over here. Yeah, that's where we're going. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I, like, I feel like this is leading up to something. Like what? I don't know. I'm sure I don't know. Hmm. Thunder strikes in the distance. Mark, what are you gonna do? You saw nothing. Well, <laughs> here's the thing. Uh, just a question. If I wanted to, say, theoretically, attack this cultist, Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. Uh, That's rude. So I would first have to move, say, again, theoretically, the Shoggoth in here as a, as a move. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then attack on the next round. Yes. Okay. But I could move, say, the Shoggoth and the Cultist at Probably the same time. Probably a smart move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I'm going to do. Go to visit over there. All right. So that'll cost you two. That is two. Yeah. For one more point, I could get this deep one over here just not to leave this gate completely. Empty. Yes, but you gotta yes. pay one more. Yeah, I'll pay one more. Okay, now it's Joseph's turn. I'm gonna move uh, the king in yellow and three of those zombies. Just uh, three, leaving one behind? Yeah, uh, down to South America. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be the screaming dead. So one action point. One point for that. And then I'll spend another point to desecrate, so I need a four or less. You're gonna get complaints from Can't the neighbors. See. You got a one. Great, so I'll desecrate that. You just move into this college town. You think you own the place. We'll keep the bit going. And uh, yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I was drawing an elder sign. I don't know if you have feelings about this bit, but this bit is here to stay. <laughs> That's what I'm, saying. I'm all in, I'm all in. Well, oh boy, things look real bad for that cultist there in the North Atlantic. Hey, Margaret, I'm gonna make you make you a deal. If you move that cultist onto that gate over there, I'm not gonna attack you, and I will just leave my person there if you want. You know, that sounds like, that sounds awfully tempting, but I feel like I can't just let people move onto my territory mm -hmm. without repercussions mm -hmm. and That's I can fair. help it. Ooh, I love that attitude. So there's this ability called Avatar, it says, choose an area and a faction and swap the location of the goat with that of a monster or cultist in the chosen area. The owner of the faction chooses which unit to locate. Hey, Cthulhu. Yes? Hey. Which one do you like better, your monster or your cultist? So one's gonna switch and go over here to East Africa? So one of mine switches or one of yours? You get to, you get to pick which of yours is going to North Africa. Which of my guys goes to yeah. East. East Africa. The East. Uh, yeah, let's send that cultist over there. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. He'll just stand on this little tentacle thing that's there. Either way, he's gonna get captured. Sure. If you don't move him. Um, I do believe that is my turn. Did it uh, cost that was, you any power? It, that was one, ac one uh, action cost. Oh my gosh, it's back to me. Oh, this whole counterclockwise thing. It's really a trip. Okay. So, you know what sounds really fun? 
fun is taking this polyp and we're gonna move a polyp into Europe. Okay, so we'll, we'll just move one polyp. We're just gonna move one polyp. Okay. Over to me. Yeah. Well then, I'm gonna make this more of a move turn. So, that's one. This makes two. And then Cthulhu coming over here makes three. Wow. And do I wanna do anything? I guess I could go and get this guy out of here, over here. Yeah, he's gonna go over here. Boop. All right, down to two power. Joseph. Mark? Yes? I'm gonna move through the South Pacific, but I'm not gonna mess with you. Well, I recall just... the three doom points you threw me earlier, so right. I think we are, we are allied. Oh. Cool, so Screaming Dead, I'm moving, yeah, all my dudes down there. I'm not gonna leave anyone in South America at this time. For my second action, I will summon a Bayaki. Boop, boop, up here. Bayaki. You got one power left, huh? I All do. right. I do have one power left. Margaret. Let's see, I'm going to not, I'm not gonna stick around here. I'm going to head over here. Wow. Avatar this way, I should say. So imagine a scenario in which the zombie is wandering through the plains, suddenly blinks out of existence and blinks back into existence over the North Atlantic, bloop, into this party over here. That's All it. All right, one power. Yep. And, oh, back to me. Oh, jeez. What are you gonna, what are you gonna okay, do? Okay, there's so much I could do. And uh, I think right now, my polyp is hungry. Oh my gosh. May I please capture one of your cultists in Europe? Of your choosing. Nothing I can really do about it, but it's gonna be the one that's not on, one of the ones that's not on a gate. How about this guy? Uh, sure. Oh, come on, here uh, you go, cutie. Come with my crawling chaos. I okay. will, uh, I'll at pay this one. point, be gaining a power. You're welcome. Because of my passion, passion of the cultist. I see a symbiotic relationship forming here. Eh, we'll see. Over to me. Mm -hmm. Now question, can I destroy that uh, black goat cultist? They have a combat of one, so they'll get to roll, or you could do a capture action, which they can't do anything about. Yeah, you just capture it. But I kind of want to kill or devour an enemy unit so that I can activate one of my spell books. That's true. Well, you can choose to battle it. Great. Because it does have a combat value. Okay, great, so I will mm -hmm. essentially devour one of my own deep ones, which means that this Shoggoth now has five dice of combat ability. All right. Okay. Overkill, some might say. I wouldn't say that, just to be sure. All right, and then one die for, I got for uh, oh, yeah. For the regret, acolyte Regret with the not knife. eating the other deep one too, who knows? You just need a six. You just need an A6? Six. A6. Six. I got two sixes. You got it. All right. Ooh. I also got a six. But I got so, two of them. So what does that mean? All right. So <laughs> you were only fighting one baddie. Yes. So you've killed it, and the rest are useless. Okay. You had one fight in you as well, so you kill one of the baddies as well. Mark, you get to choose. Uh, it's going to be the deep one, I think. Uh, and I have destroyed this. Yes. That goes back to you. Mm -hmm. There you go. Then I actually activate uh, Submerge. Because your, your spellbook said... If I kill or devour an enemy unit in battle... Awesome. I earn this, so I will well take done. that. Well done. What's Submerge do? Submerge means that if Cthulhu is in an ocean or sea area... Of which you are in many. Mm -hmm. So if he is there, and I can spend one additional action cost to activate this, if he is in an ocean or sea area, as he is, I can remove him from the map and place him on my faction card. Later, as a zero cost action, I may place Cthulhu anywhere in any area. Like if someone's trying to battle you yeah. in the water, in the ocean? he could just show up. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Anywhere in the ocean? What? Uh, no, just into any area. He has yeah. to. He has to be in the ocean when he disappears, but he can reappear anywhere, according to this. That's crazy. Cthulhu's a swimmer. Mm -hmm. That's but not he how got, water. We also got wings. He could just like drop out of the sky. 
okay. from me under the ocean, out of the sky. Yep. But I'm watching yeah. Antarctica. I, okay. know, I got eyes on Antarctica. Okay. And it does take an action to do that. It takes an action point to do it, yeah. Yeah, so you can't do it right now. I'm, I've got one action point remaining, I believe, yes. Yeah, but you a, this turn, yeah. you did your, a battle. Your action was attacking. Oh, okay, great. And in fact, I was going to say, I don't have to do that right now, do I? When I earn it? You no, can't it, it costs you're... a whole action. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. So that um, I just, I've activated my spell book. And, and at the beginning of this turn, you were at two? I was at two. In the, Perfect. Yes. So I have one point remaining, and that's everything that's going on. Great. Joseph? Um, Joseph, what's your wedding ring? Uh, it's Cthulhu. <laughs> Let's see. It's a custom-made wedding ring. Oh, nice. nice. Very nice. No big deal. I'm going to go to Australia with my, my minions. Mm -hmm. We're all moving over there, and uh, we're gonna oh. we're gonna desecrate it. Man, desecrating Australia is always the secret to winning. And I failed. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's tough. I failed to desecrate, and I'm at zero now. Uh, an attempt to desecrate still costs an action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Cool. 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 Margaret. Oh hi. Um, let's oh, see. Oh hey. I'm gonna bring a cultist back. You're recruiting. I am recruiting. Do you have a speech when you recruit someone to your cult? It's very short and to the point. <sighs> Sup? Yes, I will join. Yep, there cool. we go. Cool, I'm in. You just like stand there looking imposing with all your tentacle heads. I mean, yeah. Rubble, rubble. Oh geez, it's back to me, the crawling chaos. Now, if you gain more power after you've already gone down to zero, you still get to do another thing, like try and desecrate Australia again. That's true. And then I would get you would get more power at the beginning of next turn. Well, I only have three power left, and so I can't both move a cultist somewhere and then summon a new gate, which would be pretty sweet. I think I want to eat your cultist. Aww. Let me eat one more yummy, yummy cultist. <laughs> Thanks. I'm down thank to two power. No, thank you. You're back in the game. Great Cthulhu, what say you? Great Cthulhu will, I think, just bring a cultist into play. And he's going to show up in Relie. Solid. And that will be my last of my power. Joseph. Oh, hey. Hmm. You going to desecrate uh, Australia? I'm thinking about it. Thinking about it. Would that get you your sixth spell book? It would. It really would. Mm. Um, let's see. Four or less. I feel like I have a pretty good chance. All uh, right, Joseph. Don't, don't. Beat around the dead zombies. Yeah, I'll try to desecrate again. That's what I'm all about. Desecration. Yes, desecration. Desecrate Australia. Congratulations. Desecration in the down under. Oh my gosh, you've activated I the communicator have ability. Oh my spell books. This is not even my final form. Uh, and that was my last power. I am now down to zero. I mean, unless someone eats another one of my cultists. So oh no. we'll see what happens. They're tasty. Mm -hmm. It sounds like this is my turn right now. Show is. I am going to use this turn to bring some dudes out. These guys here cost one apiece. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have also mentioned I brought out my last spell book. I <sighs> forgot about that. Yes. Cool, cool. You and all your spell books. Actually, no, this guy's also going to stay here. And then going to bring out some ghouls as well who are free. Oh, are. The ghouls, your minions? Yes. Ooh. Wait, tell me about this. You got free ghouls? Free ghouls. Uh, <laughs> with uh, my spell book, the thousand young uh, uh, ghouls, fungi, and dark young each cost one less power to summon. Sweet. Uh, ghouls who normally cost one cost zero now. Oh, man. Did you spend all your power in that final turn? Uh, no, I spent two. Oh, my goodness. It's my turn. But, Joseph, you got a new spell book. What's it do? Ah, I got Shriek of the Bayaki. Ah! So, uh, move any or all, this is an action cost one, move any or all Bayaki from their current areas to one any one area on the map. So I can, like, summon all of my Bayaki to a particular area. Currently, I have two on the map. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. All right, well, it's my turn. I have two power left. Joseph's really counting on me to keep on eating. It's up to you. But I'm full. Uh, I have something called a Night Gaunt, and uh, it has a cool ability to make people eliminate their monsters if they try and fight me. So maybe I should get some out on the board. That seems like a fun thing to do, because I'm so full of cultists right now. <laughs> 
they are filling. Then again, I love eating cultists. <laughs> I'll take a point of power. I paid a point of power. Ooh, back around to Joseph with another point. I will spend my point and I will place a zombie on this uh, gate. You didn't tell me you were gonna defend yourself ever. Mm. After a while, I kind of get tired of getting eaten and I'm like, might as well throw some defenses down there. Uh, I'm gonna put some cultists out on the board. Let's see. I'm going to have one over here. I have my final power and with it, I think, uh, I think uh, we're gonna move Nariel at the top. Gonna go in the Arctic Ocean. Sounds like that's my turn again. Were you at zero now? I'm at zero. Uh, all right, well, I am going to bring out a, uh, another cultist here. Party is happening out this way, honestly. So now I am at zero. Oh my gosh, friends, it is the gather power phase once again. Oh. I, need, I need some of that. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Good, yeah. good, good. I don't think well? I'm getting much power this turn, but we'll see. Hey, hey, no. Well, my cultist got eaten by someone. Well, you asked for it. I didn't, I really didn't. Okay. So we start with you. Yes, yes I shall take three from these eaten cultists. Here you go, you can have them back. Thank you. And then I have my six on the board, that puts me at nine, and then I still control four gates, so that's another eight, putting me at 17. Oh, wow. I have uh, six cultists on the board, and I have four gates, so I believe that puts me to 14, and there are no unattended gates, are there? Nine. Yeah. So, oh. There's nine? Wow, that's another nine points. Yeah. No? Okay, so 14. 14 is where I am. Joseph, what you got? What do I got? I have two, I have three cultists, that's three. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I have two gates, that's four more for seven. And then how many desecration tokens? I have one, two, I think I only have two desecration tokens. Three. Four. four. Well, but there's no, I have no space, no oh, with, with figures, so. Oh, guys, yeah. Yeah, ah. so I only have two with, with figures. 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 Units. So I'm up to nine, I have nine points. Um, let's see, I have all six cultists out on the board, so that is six, and then I have three gates, uh, which is another six, so I have 12 this turn. Okay, determine first player. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna leave it this direction. You're making me a little nervous with all your stuff out on the board over there, Margaret. I just got all the stuff, it's just a, they're these guys. I'm looking forward to see what Margaret does. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How threatening. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Next up, first player, yep, we do that, doom phase. Whew, I will take four points for blue. Oh, one. A two, three, four. I will take four points for green, I believe. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, one. For games? Two, three, four. There we go. Uh, I will take two points for yellow. One, two. And three for red? Uh, three, correct. One, two, three. Ritual of annihilation time. Four points at a cost of seven. That seems like a deal. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Plus, you get an elder sign as well. But I should have already. Um, taken one of these cool spell books and I am going to do my Ritual of Annihilation so it's gonna cost me seven and I'm down to 10 power. And you get four more. And one, one two, two, three, three four. four. I will take an Elder Sign for having Nair Lethotep add on the board and then it is to mark to choose whether or not to take a ritual and I'm going to take the spell book that I should have taken from Awakening that uh, great old one. And I've claimed a spell book that I, I didn't use this turn, mm. but I will use it next turn. How did you earn the spell book? Well, I awakened Nerolethotep, you know, the first thing I did in the round. A while ago. Oh yeah, but I mean, we all saw that happen, so that obviously, yeah, you did that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember yeah, I, that. I really should have, you know, taken my spell book What about spell book it. you taken? If Naryolethotep is in play, roll a die. This is an action for a cost of zero. Your foes lose that much power between them. They have one minute to decide how much each loses. If they cannot agree, you receive power equal to the number rolled. Flip this spell book over. It cannot be used again in this action phase. During the gather power phase, flip it face up again. Okay. Should have used it, didn't use it. What you okay. gonna do? Fair enough. Uh, now over to me, I believe, yes? Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. good for Rituals of Annihilation, I think I'm fine. I'm good for Rituals of Annihilation. No, I'm good. It's my turn and I wanna move! We're gonna fly on up to the Arctic Ocean here. And then you know what? I'm done with Europe. 
my polyp and I are going to move on over to this Arctic Ocean up here. And that's a cost of two to move two occultists and a polyp. And now to Mark. Very well. I am going to summon a star spawn. Summon a star spawn. To that gate. Can anyone really summon a star spawn? Oh. That costs three power. My turn. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna bring a cultist into Australia. I oh, feel that's like cool. I feel like you know, uh, throw a cultist on the Barbie. Hmm. I see what you did there. As my accent was perfect, right? Was Nailed like, it. Yeah. My God. Let's see. I'm going to send. Uh, one. Oh, I'm you're coming go. in Arabia, huh? Let's see. Two. Three for three action points, which gives me six locations on the board. Before I forget it, one, two, three, and I get a spell book. Um, it, for that, I am going to choose Red Sign here. What does Red Sign do? Red one. sign. Uh, Dark Young can create and control gates. Uh, each adds one to uh, the goat's combat, and each provides one power during the gather power phase. They do not act as cultists with respect to any other purpose. And Are you sure you don't want to move a cultist while you're moving stuff? You know, why not? I've got enough of them. The party, the party's letting out there, and that is one more. There we go. So you move four things total, right? Four. Sweet. Mm. Oh, back to me. Oh, I have so many plans. And one of them is making a sweet gate. Gate time up there in the Arctic Ocean. Thank you. Oh, look, you desecrated there. I did. I've, I, you know, I've been around. You really have. We have a mess of a party wherever you go. Better a mess of a party than no party. Over to me? Yeah! Very well, this is all going to be about moving. This guy will go around the Earth and end up back at Rillier hang out here with his cultist buddies. That's one. This guy will move right here. Two. This guy will move here. Three. And let's make it four. That was four points. Oh wait, you just came in South America. You're not messing around. You didn't even open up a, a gate in North Atlantic. Okay. Joseph. You know what Australia needs? It needs a gate. It probably needs a gate. I'm gonna put a gate there. I'll put a gate there for you. I'm gonna upgrade. Oh. I'm gonna buy a hotel and a bunch of houses. Oh my God, in one turn? Yeah. So I've spent my three and there, that's a gate. I am going to come over here. Hi, Blue. Avatar, which of those would you like to move? Wow. Here's what I'm thinking. My polyps are super dope and I can just exempt it from battle because it's super cool like that. You're also all about my stuff over there. That's an issue for me. If I keep this, I can just battle you. And what's your dice roll? Nine dice? Get out of here. Get out of here with that. Mm. All right. Unofficial truce broken. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh boy, did we have that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I would like my polyp to go over. All right. Oh yeah, that looks nice. It's my turn. We all agree. We're gonna move my great old one <laughs> into North America. And that costs one. Over to me. Mm hmm I believe I will, now I can just attack these units with these guys, right? Yeah, it costs one to initiate battle. Okay, I will do that. Awesome. So, you've got a Shagoth and a deep one for a total of three dice. Uh, actually, I'm going to use Devour. <gasps> so, uh, that Shoggoth will actually be a minimum of five dice, probably eight dice, actually. Where's your Devour power? How does that work? Or, sorry, Absorb, I should say. Oh, do, okay, got it. You're taking your deep old yep. one Basically, off the, the Shoggoth absorbs this. Nah. Yep. And he absorbs the Cultist. Oh. 
and then he's got, well, maybe he doesn't need to. He's got, that would give him five dice. And how many dice am I facing? Um, for the fun guy, it's just one. And then oh, and one you're for the And cultist. one for the cultist. Mm-hmm. So it's five dice versus two. Mm. That's mm-hmm. pretty good. Pretty but good. I could, could go overwhelming and go eight. Mm. Well, I hope you guys pain each other so that I get to choose where you go, because I haven't gotten to use my madness. Uh, <laughs> you've been using your madness the entire time. Back what? Back. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go eight, because I want to get two kills. Oh my god, you ate your own cultist? Yep, that's what I do. <laughs> that's what a Shoggoth does. True. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, yep. let's see him. Two and a five. Bunch of stuff. We got three sixes. Well, that's more than enough. All right, right so, so you got I've, my dudes. I've destroyed both those guys, which means that I have now activated my fifth spell book, which is Regenerate. Sweet. This is assign up to two kill or pain battle results to the same star spawn, so it only affects star spawn. Uh, if two kills are applied, the star spawn is killed. On any other combination of kill or pain results, the star spawn is only pain. Sweet. So, I, so how, how does that mechanic work exactly? Pained means you're pushed back one. Mm-hmm. So if you have a bunch of stuff in battle and your star spawn uh, gets to soak up two sixes, essentially, right? Okay. instead of one. Okay. Perfect. So you're, you're, it, it helps your other creatures stay safe, but um, the black goat did pain this shagoth, and okay. so now I decide where a pained creature goes. Where do you want to go? You cannot go to North America because there's black goat pieces there. These are yours, so that's too easy for you to send there. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. You're not touching Australia. I guess the the most inconvenient place I could send you is the North Atlantic. Okay. So. Want to send me there? Yeah. Sure. Oh, you want to hear about my madness one more time so I can prove why I get to yeah, do sure. that? Yeah, sure, why did you get to do that? After all pain results have been assigned, you, rather than the unit's owners, choose the areas to which pained units go. Apply it in any order, instead of the normal attacker first, then defender, and then follow all other rules. Do this even for battles in which you did not participate, because madness! Because madness. Mmm, Cthulhu. Okay, so now it's Joseph's turn? Yeah, it ain't no thing. I'm gonna bring in a zombie over there. Ooh, wow, one zomb. Yeah, that's okay. it, I'm done. Margaret, what are you gonna do? Uh, I think I'm gonna capture that cultist there. Yeah, you're just gonna capture a cultist, huh? Yeah. I guess that makes sense. Yep. Did you pay your one? Yes. All right, Crawl and Chaos had a different plan to maybe work on some spellbook situations, but now Crawl and Chaos is angry! Dun dun dun. And Crawl and Chaos is like, oh my god, you did what? You did what in Antarctica? That was their gate. They're gonna take your gate. And so, I'm going to initiate battle for a cost of one in North America. So, I got a flying polyp, that's one die. I got a Nyarlathotep, which is equal to the total number of spell books on all of our cards, which is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then um, I'm gonna do a little thing. It's called Seek and Destroy. Immediately move any or all hunting horrors from any areas into the battle area. Hello, hello. And hunting horrors are, this is so overkill, (laughs) Um, uh, two combat each. So I will take these four dice. What's up? And that's a pre-battle ability, Um, Pre-battle. Yeah. So I believe I've got four combat dice out of this one. Oh this wait, no, no, wait, hold on. I got another invisibility, pre-battle. Select one monster or cultist from either faction for each flying polyp present, I got one, and exempt it. The selected unit does not participate in the rest of the battle. You could, for example, exempt oh, one of the cultists. I will exempt yeah. this cultist, if you don't mind. He'll just float? I yeah. guess he still owns the owns the gate. Okay, one of your acolytes is exempt from battle due to my polyp. Okay, so you got three, yeah. Okay, so he is he is not going to be hurt, but he is not participating. Yeah, he's just a passerby. Okay. He can't soak okay. up casualties like if you. you know well, I mean. in that case, let's let's rumble. Party on. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I got a six. Cool. Did you get a six? And a five. No. No. 
There was it's a lot a little, of dice. It's, uh -huh. it's a very scrappy little cultist with a, a knife. Let me see. A, let me count my re-rolls here. Let me count my re-rolls. Yeah. Okay, so my re-rolls. There's re-rolls? No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I do have, that's nothing. Those are push. That's a push. Okay, I'm gonna push you three times. Sure. Three yeah. times I push you. Yeah, do that thing. Do okay. it. Um, so you kill one and push one. Three's nothing. So I'm going to kill my flying polyp. Mm -hmm. And then I will push your leather tip. Yep. Okay. And then I will push oh, uh, that was three of your choosing. Three so, of my choosing. Well, okay. Yeah, one of your one of your units will stay, and then I'll choose where the other three go. But you tell me which three you want to be pained. Oh, these three will be pained. Now you can't come into the Arctic Ocean because I'm there, and the other areas are North Pacific, North Atlantic. So we'll do. I'm gonna send this to North Atlantic, North Pacific, and. Another in the North Atlantic. All right. Well, this looks pretty good to me because it means that I now have uh, enemies sharing units with every single one of the factions out there, so I get a spell book. Dang. Um, so, <laughs> boy, I've been waiting for somebody to do that for me. Um, I think I'm going to try Blood Sacrifice then. Um, so what that does is if uh, my old one is in play during the doom phase, you can choose to eliminate one of your cultists. Uh, if you do gain one elder sign. Oh, and that is only, that'll apply in the doom phase? Yes. Okay. That was my turn. Yep. Great Cthulhu. Great. That's great. Well, I think I am going to move. This Shoggoth is going to spend a point moving back to this gate right over here. Cool. That's it? Uh, that is one point. Cool. Joseph? Uh, Screaming Dead, I'm gonna move um, Haster, mm -hmm. I mean the King in Yellow, sorry. Mm -hmm. And all the dead that are with the King in Yellow, uh, those four dudes, and they're gonna move into, there's really only, I'm just passing through still, I'm just gonna move into the uh, just South North Pacific, because there's that's the only place I can go. I can't go. North Pacific? Oh, South Pacific. I can't, I can only, I, yeah, I can only go into the South Pacific. Okay. Right from Australia, that's the only place I can go to. That's, you're touching the Indian Ocean and South Pacific. Well, I'm gonna go into the South Pacific. Cool. Either way, it's some a place where Mark is, but. Welcome to Relier. Hey. You're just leaving one little cultist there in Australia, huh? I'm gonna get a t-shirt while I'm here from Relier. That's cool. And do you get a second turn because of that power? I do have a second action, but I'm not gonna use it right now because I wanna see what happens. Okay, cool. And you spent your power, yeah? Yeah. Just checking. Margaret? Oh, it's me again, hey. Um, let's see, uh, I am going to place a cultist. Yeah, that's a smart thing to do, that makes a lot of sense. Take that, take that gate. Thing. That's my turn. Mm -hmm. Well, 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 well. Well. Uh, I would like to capture a cultist in North America. Nom, 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 nom. Got a little hostage situation going on here, apparently. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's my whole turn. Yep. Mark? Very well. I will bring a cultist through right over here. Sweet. Curillier. This point. Joseph. Can you hand me a die? I'm gonna desecrate the the um, South Pacific, which doesn't affect you, Mark, by the way. No, of course. You're gonna like it better, I think. It's I gonna think be, it's nicer. It's gonna be better. Uh, so I need a Close five it. or less. Ah, did it. All right, go ahead and drop that down there. I will spend, oh, I, already, I already spent. And uh, I will. You have so many Elder Signs over there. Grab an Elder Sign. I do have a few Elder Signs, yes. You're out of control. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight elder signs. Nine? I do. You don't know what's on them, though. They might yeah. all be ones. But they're at least nine points right there. So you're currently at 10 points on the board, so you're at least at 19. I think Mark's in the lead right now because you have three elder signs hiding there, and I've only got one. I mean, that's my whole thing is getting elder signs. So. For sure, mm -hmm. for sure. Margaret? Let's see. I'm going to summon some guys. Let's see. One over here. 
one over here for a total of three points. All right, oh, back to me, and you know what? On my last two, uh, I don't have any cultists to put back up there. Real bumsville on that. Um, but you know what? I can fly, and I love to fly. So I'm gonna fly from South Asia through the North Pacific, Pacific, Pacific and uh, land in North America, and then as the end of my free action, I will slide on into that gate. <sighs> and now I'm wow. out. How many gates does Becca have? Five gates. No, just four. You have five gates. Oh, okay. Well, I lost one. Oh, it only cost me one power. I have one power left, Ooh. and that was my turn. Hmm. Yeah, a bit of power left. Uh, Deep One's gonna show up at this gate. And I can only summon one thing per turn, right? Even if I pay the cost. Correct. There we are. Yeah, that's, that's what the black goat can really excel at, mm -hmm. summoning monsters. So you're down to three power? I'm down to three. Okay, Joseph with the two power. Joseph with the two power. Do you have anything that costs one power? Do I? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, this is a tough call. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna move, I'm gonna Screaming Dead up into where my guy is up there for one. North Atlantic? North Atlantic. I'm gonna leave a, a zombie behind them. One zombie in the South yeah. Pacific. For smart, the, smart, for smart, the power. smart, smart, smart. Mm -hmm. It's just gonna hang out there. I like it. And that's my turn. Wait, hold on. I think you moved too, because there's a South Atlantic in the way there. Oh. Sorry. I see, I see. Do you wanna go to South Atlantic? Sure, I'll go to South Atlantic. South Atlantic, okay. You're all up in, in this shit. Hey, King in Yellow, it's me, Cthulhu. Or, or I'll go to the Indian Ocean because it's nearby. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, okay, well, I'll just pick everything up again. Okay. Good. No, wait, you could... Don't forget one of my guys. Oh, yeah, still... you're touching over there. You can go over that way. Yeah, and you no. wanted to leave one in South Pacific? Well, yeah, and then this guy was already in, in there. Oh, I almost got you. No, that would have been great. I would have loved to have that guy with me. <laughs> anyway, that's my move. Oh, yeah, you didn't burn? You didn't desecrate up there? Nah. That's a bummer. Is it? Margaret, <laughs> um, I'm going to take a road trip. Um, the goat's going on a road trip to uh, South Asia. And the cultist who is there gets a free road trip to Antarctica. I, I feel like this is a great power. deal. Yeah, you just did the power on me. Yeah, you know, they're winning. It's, Spread out the, the pains. You know, they might be, but you definitely are ahead on the doom track. That is my turn. I'm flying Nyarl at the tip. Back home. South Asia. It's a bold move. Oh boy, it's just gonna be two kaiju fighting out over there. Mm -hmm. Mark. Uh, I'm going to bring in, mm. get another deep one right over here. That will cost another power. Joseph, final action. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and desecrate over here, I guess, because that's where I am. So I need a four or less. Yep, desecration. Oh, what a beautiful little desecration you done. Is it a one or a two or a three? Yes. Oh my gosh. Margaret. I am going to use one point to capture this cultist here. Sure, yeah, I'm solid. Yep. Back to, I'm out, Mark. Very well. Another deep one. It's all these deep ones showing up all of a sudden. You deep in the deep ones. They're not showing up all of a sudden. They're really trickling into play. What yeah. you they really are. Yeah. <laughs> One at a time. Yeah. They did not carpool. Yeah, the black goat is all about all of a sudden. You're kind of like, yeah, there's another one. Yeah, but now you're rolling deep. Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Once. Joseph. I'm out. Oh, I'm out. Oh, you're out. That was okay. my last thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. And Margaret, you have one left as well. Uh, with that one, I am going to uh, Avatar out of Asia. If you could hand that to me. And I am going to Australia and sending this wow. guy on a little bit of a. Uh, Not on no gate, though. Yeah. Nope. Okay, Great Cthulhu, final move of the round. And the final move and the final deep one shows up here. Ooh. Hey guys, how's it going? It's about time you got here, says Cthulhu. As my turn ends with uh, all my points spent. Sweet. All right, everybody, it's time for the 
Gather power phase. Gather power. Gather power. Oh. Very cool. All right. Uh, I shall probably for once not have the first turn. Let's see. I'm on. I got only four cultists. I'm gonna give you back your one. That's one point. Uh, so I'm at five, and then I've got one, two, three, four gates. So that's two, four, six, eight. I'm at thirteen. So I have four gates. That's uh, that's eight, and then six cultists. Fourteen, also fourteen. And there's no unattended gates. There's one unattended gate. Oh, fifteen. There's two unattended. Two gates. unattended. Sixteen. Oh, I'm at fifteen. Oh. So I'm at sixteen. Cool. Um, I have uh, four cultists. I have uh, two gates uh, because Margaret skillfully snuck one of my cultists off the gate mm-hmm. uh, up to eight. And then uh, desecration, I have two desecrations with units. And then I, there's the two open gates, so that's I'm 12. I think you have three units on desecration. You've got South Pacific. Oh, that's right. I forgot South Pacific. Indian Ocean. I do, so I'm up to 13. Thank you. Cool. My pleasure. Excellent, excellent. Um, okay, so I have five of my own cultists out. So you get one point each for my cultists, and I'll take them back. Uh, there you go. Uh, so seven for that. And then uh, I have three gates right now for uh, six, so what is that, 13? 13. And then two more for uh, the open gates, so 15. Sweet. Turn. And you got your abandoned gates points? Yeah, I did. Sweet, okay. Oh, geez, we've gathered our power. Now we're gonna determine first player, which is not me, 15, 16. 16. Okay, Mark, you are first. Very well. Clockwise or counterclockwise? Hmm, I believe we will go, we were going counterclockwise. Yeah. Twice in a row, yes. Well, then let us go clockwise. That feels Once great. Once more. Mm-hmm. Clockwise, there we go. Cool. Okay. Hmm. So the first thing that Cthulhu is... Not yet, not yet, oh, it's sorry, doom sorry. time! Doom, doom, right. All right, so you are now the first player, so take your doom, one doom per controlled gate, which I believe is four. Four doom, please. And I will also now activate my final spell book, which is act- it's the last spell book I received, taken during the doom phase. I will also take an elder sign for that. And I will activate my final spell book, which means that during the gather power pay, plays, if uh, phase, if Cthulhu is in play, I will get uh, one power for each enemy controlled gate uh, in an ocean or sea area. What? Yes. Which is currently you up in the Arctic Ocean, and I think that's it. <sighs> it's a lot en- for enemy control. Interesting. It doesn't look like an ocean. Because it's all ice, but I guess technically it says in the name. Yeah, this is in Antarctica. Under the ice is an ocean. Joseph, time for your doom. Oh, you're right. We changed in the directions and then they change. I will take four for blue, please. I'm at 26. Okay. Margaret, you have. I have three gates right now. Uh, So right there. And uh, I am going to eliminate one cultist uh, to get. An elder sign? Yes. Uh, How's that work? So, is that just, your power? She just kills a cultist. So um, it where did it go? It no. is here. Um, uh, uh, if the goat is in play during the doom phase, you can choose to eliminate one of your cultists. If you do, you gain one elder sign. I never thought I'd get to <laughs> stick my hand in the bag. Yay! Oh my God. The bag. <laughs> it's in your the first bag. elder sign. Hand in the bag. <laughs> Warm and fuzzy, I think. Um, I will take my two points, bloop, bloop, up to 12, and that's it. We've all, now it's time for a little ritual of annihilation. Mark first if you want her. Hmm. You know, I could do with a ritual of annihilation. It's eight points these days. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna spend one, spend those eight points and get a ritual of annihilation going. Cool. Nice. So I get an elder sign for that. One to the other eight. Yeah, hand that bag elder over here. Elder sign. Thank you. And then that's gonna be four more points for green. And so, for completing the uh, Ritual of Annihilation, I will get another Elder Sign, and I see that I'm very close. In fact, given the amount of Elder Signs I have, I believe I can end the game. Indeed. Right. So, will we go through the... Will I reveal these now? Yeah, if you want to. You can get all those points immediately. Turn them in. And that's what I'm going to do. Cash those Elder Checks. I have one, which takes me up to game over. That's one. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. So, and I have all six of my spell books. That's cool. So that's another two, 32. Yep. 33. Oh, these are all going to be ones. Uh, 35, 36. 
All right. Cool, 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 Mark is at 36, cool. his final score. Oh, yeah? Well, guess what? I'm going to perform a ritual of annihilation, even though it doesn't matter because I don't have all my spell books. <laughs> I'm going to pay nine. If you could, or, sorry, pay eight if you could slide that up. Oh, and sorry, I did, I, yeah, I did pay my eight. I'm at seven. And then uh, uh, I would take four. <laughs> no, I caused game over, killing myself. <laughs> and now uh, I have, I will take one <laughs> for my ritual. And I will immediately reveal and add three to my score. One, three. Two, three. Thank yeah. you. That's, that's it. I don't win, though. Um, I do realize that uh, where we are in this game at this point. But um, I think okay. I also would like to try for an original annihilation. Uh, this is my first time playing this game. I'd like to have seen where I could have landed on the board here. So. Uh, paying nine, who, who even cares? Uh, there. <laughs> <laughs> paying nine, I, I will have taken a token. Do you want to reveal them? Uh, I so do. First of all, you get, how many gates do you have? Uh, we already did that. But you get them again for the Ritual of Annihilation. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. So four points. Yeah. Does she have four? Oh, five. No, three. 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 <laughs> It doesn't matter, Joseph. Mark wins. <laughs> yeah, I know, but she wants to know what her actual score is, I think. Yeah, that's fair. And then um, you can add your... Yeah. Oh! Three and three. Wow! So I noticed you basically thing. choosing, spiritually I, reading the bag. Well Would done. you also like to have a go at the bag? Oh, yeah, no, I'm gonna. I'm, You're I'm, in the running. I'm all over this bag. Hey, oh. Uh, yeah, so I'll spend 10 to do the final and do the other endgame uh, thing. Instant death just occurred! Now, I have two great old ones, so I gotta draw two things. Uh, I'm not happy with the number of threes that I see on the board, because there's not a lot of threes in here, and it's gonna be all about the threes. Let's see what I got. I got a three no. for my first draw. That's what? highly unlikely. There's not a lot of threes in here. I think there's six. Yeah, there's like, and a two. That's pretty good. Okay, so that's uh, fine. And I perform my Ritual Annihilation, but that's only worth two. One, two. So let's see what let's see what I'm adding up with with Haster. I still think Mark Mark wins this, but so I haven't added this. Uh, let's flip over all my things. Okay, 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 okay. So that's a five. Um, uh, that's ten. Um, this is eight, nine, ten. So that's twenty-two. I'm gonna add twenty-two to whatever I'm at. So that's 14, so that is 36. Ty! Ty! What? Game, which means no these one two great old ones share the victory. Oh, yeah, we were, we were allies right from the beginning. Oh, that's true. If you hadn't given me those three doom, doom points off the top, you would have won. That's it. You can take the dreamlands and the lower caverns of Nakai. Mm -hmm. I, I'll want Rillier, of course. Oh, yes, of yeah. course, I'll take Carcosa and, uh, you know. I would like uh, Arkham. You can have that dump. Thank you. Miskatonic's there. Yeah, that's true. But Fighting I cephalopods. <laughs> yeah. I love your enthusiasm. I'd just like to apologize for everyone whose favorite faction is Crawling Chaos. I waited too long. I have two spell books that all I have to do is spend a turn playing power to build them. And I waited too long. I should have been watching watching you boys. And really, none of us win because we're all doomed. We're all Aww, doomed. Aw, we're all doomed! Yay. Thanks so much to you guys at home for becoming doomed with us. It was such a pleasure to play this game with you guys, friends. Uh, thank you, and we'll see you next time on Game the Game. Bye! Oh yeah, hoods up, hoods up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh. <laughs>